electric current as a flow of charges. As we know that an atom is electrically neutral. It has positive charges that is protons which are heavy so they remain attracted the atom. Whereas the negative charges that is electrons are very light and remain in a constant random motion around the nucleus. The free electrons of a good conductor of electricity such as copper, aluminium, etc. start flowing in one direction when connected to a source of electricity. That means when we switch on the bulb or fan, the electricity flowing through the wires is actually the flow of electrons. This flow of electrons, electric charges, through a conductor is known as an electric current. Electric cell as a source of electricity. For the electric current to flow, there has to be a source of electricity, which could be derived from electrochemical cells, solar cells, electric generators or dynamos. Let us study about an electrical cell to understand electricity better. We use cells in torches, watches, calculators, toys, etc. If you look at the cell carefully, you will find certain marking on it. On one side of the cell, there is a positive sign and on the other side, you will find a negative sign. Hence, a cell has two terminals, a positive and a negative terminal. An electric cell produces electricity by chemical reactions taking place between the chemicals placed inside the body of the cell. When the chemicals in the electric cell are used up, the electric cell stops producing electricity. Resistors as components that oppose the flow of current. When current flows through a conductor, it offers some obstruction to the flow of current. The obstruction offered to the flow of current by the wire is called its electrical resistance. So, the resistance can be defined as the physical quantity that opposes the flow of current in a conductor. Actually, the flow of current in a wire is due to the drift of electrons. Electrons collide with the atoms of the wire as they move through it. The speed of electrons decreases due to these collisions. Thus, the rate of flow of charge shows and current decreases. Symbolic representation of electrical components in dealing with electric currents, we can use these symbols. Components, symbols. 1. Electric cell. 2. Battery of two cells. 3. Electric bulb. 4. Key or closed switch. 5. Open switch. 6. Connecting wire. 7. Ammeter. 8. Voltmeter. 9. Resistance Simple electric circuit There is a complete pathway for the flow of electric current. This pathway is known as electric circuit. When the electric circuit is complete, only then the bulb in a circuit lights up, otherwise not. Activity To prove that current can flow only when there is a complete circuit. Take a dry cell, a small torch bulb and copper connecting wire. Connect the dry cell, the bulb and the copper wire in a circuit as shown in figure. Leave the gap AB in this. The circuit is not complete, so the bulb does not glow. Now, take a pencil sharpener at both ends and fit in take cap AB you will find that the bulb glows now. The electric current starts flowing in the circuit. Thus, for an electric current to flow, there must be a complete circuit with no gaps. Circuit Diagram 
figure electric circuit 1 series circuit if all the devices are connected end to end so that the same current flows through each of them then the combination will be called series combination in figure both the bulbs x and y have same amount of current if the switch is open no current will flow and the bulbs stop glowing suppose bulb x stops glowing the circuit will break hence the bulb y will also stop glowing thus in series combination each component depends on the other component 2 parallel circuit if all the devices are connected individually to the source of current so that there is same potential difference across each device then the combination will be called parallel combination in parallel combination components are independent to each other due to this reason the electrical connection in household circuits are done in parallel if any appliance becomes faulty it will not affect the working of the appliances battery as a collection of cells connected in series battery is made up of two or more cells joined together in a battery the positive terminal of one cell is connected to the negative terminal of the next cell if you connect cells with two positive terminals touching the circuit will not work in the same way a battery will not work if you connect two negative terminals together battery usually have positive and negative symbols printed on their compartments to ease identification the symbols for a battery of two cells three cells or more cells are shown below scientist thomas alva edison was an american inventor scientist and businessman who developed many devices that greatly influenced life around the world including the phonograph the motion picture camera and a long lasting practical electric light bulb dubbed the wizard of menlo park by a newspaper reporter he was one of the first inventors to apply the principles of mass production and large teamwork to the process of invention and therefore is often credited with the creation of the first industrial research laboratory good and bad conductors of electricity materials can be divided into two groups conductors and insulators conductors the materials that allow electric current to pass through them are called conductors all metals are good conductors of electricity carbon in the form of graphite is the only non metal which is a good conductor of electricity the electric current is conducted through human body also impure water is a good conductor of electricity whereas pure water distilled water is not insulators those materials which do not allow electric current to pass through them are called insulators materials such as plastics rubber wood glass polythene pvc etc are insulators you might have observed that electrician uses rubber gloves while working with electricity because rubber is a bad conductor or insulator that protects from electric shock activity to check whether the given material is a conductor or an insulator take a dry cell a small torch bulb and copper connecting wires connect these as shown in figure leaving a gap ab with the gap circuit is not complete and bulb does not glow now take a paper clip and fit it in the gap ab you will find that the bulb glows remove the clip now fit a rubber eraser in the gap does the bulb light up in this way find out 
if the bulb lights up using different materials such as paper, copper wire, rubber, aluminium foil, wood, steel and so on. List out the good conductors and bad conductors of electricity.